Well, the friends, the question that I keep hearing from you all this week is what can we do? What can we do in the midst of all that is happening in our world? And so I wanted to just outline for you a few of the things that um, I think are before us as opportunities uh, to gather, to organize, uh, to be in conversation, to be of service, uh, all of which are open to you and um, I think are part of uh, moving forward, uh, not being on the sidelines, not just being an observer uh, to all that's happened. No matter what your concern has been in terms of the recent violence uh, or national politics. Um. So today, after worship, uh, Joe Peacock and Ray Olson will be sitting at a table uh, with information about Move to Amend. You might remember we've done a little bit of work around Move to Amend. This is um, an effort to change the Constitution uh, in a way so that corporate money uh, is uh, taken out of politics. And uh, your opportunity to sign a letter uh, uh, with Joe and Ray uh, is available today after church and for the next couple of Sundays. Joe and Ray have been so committed to this effort, uh, as is our session, and uh, we uh, invite you to take that step. Um, if that's a concern for you today. We also, I also want to invite you tonight, there is uh, an interfaith service to end gun violence hosted by Project Minnesota, the Interfaith Alliance on Gun Safety. It's at 6.30 at the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer, which is on Dale Street. Um, it's going to be, I think, a large gathering. I've heard from a number of colleagues um, uh, who are all making an uh, emphasis of this. Uh, be there tonight at 6.30 at the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer. Following the service, there will be a call to action and some important conversation. Starting next Sunday is our Racial Justice Book Group uh, continuing. Uh, whether or not you read the book, The New Jim Crow, this group is open to you as a place for conversation about what's going on in our country, uh, what's going on inside of you in the midst of it, uh, racial justice is something that we care uh, about, are deeply committed to. And so uh, I wanted to open up that space uh, for anyone who'd like to be in conversation. That's following worship starting next Sunday, and you can see the following, uh, the dates of the following, uh, the next gatherings in your uh, bulletin. Habitat for Humanity starts this week. If you need to just get your hands dirty, Habitat for Humanity uh, has volunteer opportunities this week. Uh, our group working with Interfaith Builders begins their work uh, starting uh, tomorrow. And last but not least, Connie Lindbergh let me know that we're, they're still needing two volunteers at least today uh, to help with our monthly commitment to provide meals at the Dorothy Day Center. Part of moving forward together is working on these issues of violence, uh, on poverty, and homelessness, and prayer. Not just prayer, and prayer. We can be in prayer in the midst of this. Not just so that it might change the heart of God somehow, but that it might change us as well. Again, open our hearts to God. This morning, gracious God, we perhaps are so aware of the fear in addition to the violence that surrounds us, there is so much fear. Fear of violence, fear of conflicts, fear of random violence, fear of police violence, fear of what's happening in our campaign season, fear of what may come this week with the opening of the Republican National Convention. Fear as parents, fear as neighbors. Oh God, we come to you filled with fear, and you pledge, you promise to meet us over and over in our tradition. We hear the words, fear not. Jesus says, fear not, I am with you. Help us to rekindle our hope to be able to put fear in its proper place, to gain perspective 
on paths of love and justice, open a way in our hearts to believe, to be, and to move forward together. We know there are many who are hurting in our community, in this congregation, who are carrying other struggles, personal struggles. Be with them today. Be, meet them in their fear, in their uncertainty. Call us all together into a future resonant with your love. We pray for Chantal and Samuye and their family as they find peace and a new life here in St. Paul. We are so blessed by their presence. Help us to be a blessing to them. We pray all these things in Jesus' name.